So one of the things that's been true of uh, American neuromuscular disease or neuromuscular disease in America is an underutilization of genetic sequencing. And the reason for that has been that our system is largely driven by insurance uh, companies and reimbursement for testing. And historically, uh, testing for diseases you can't yet fix uh, has been a low priority for insurance companies. Uh, as more and more genes have been discovered, uh, that perspective is changing. And so now here in the United States, we're catching up and trying to basically genetically characterize neuromuscular disease patients of all types, including the limb girdle muscular dystrophies. So um, the project that I run is uh, called Precision Medicine and Neuromuscular Disease. The goal is to sequence anyone who doesn't yet have a molecular diagnosis for their neuromuscular disease. Uh, in order to be able to provide that so that they understand and know. Um, so that they can join patient registries like the one run for dysphalinopathies by the Jane Foundation. Uh, they can, uh, with that information, then kind of plug into a specific disease community to hear about research that's ongoing for their particular disease and get involved in advocacy around their particular disease. But then ultimately, of course, what we hope is that uh, if we understand the breadth of mutations that occur in a given disease, we can then design better molecular therapies to compensate for that, to, to fix those problems. So um, that's what we do uh, in our precision medicine initiative uh, and what other groups are doing you know, across the country to try to better understand uh, neuromuscular disease genetics. Uh, so in addition to the muscular dystrophies, we're also heavily focused on amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, uh, as well as related disorders like spinal muscular atrophy or the distal hereditary motor neuropathies, all of which are oftentimes seen in clinic and sometimes confused for the limb girdle muscular dystrophies. And so they all kind of come together and occasionally, just like we'll find acid maltase deficiency patients mixed in with the limb girdle muscular dystrophies. Well, sometimes we'll find other genetic disorders that have been misdiagnosed or mislabeled or had similarities enough that they were not, ne not necessarily misdiagnosed, but now we can just figure them out from a genetic perspective uh, and it gives us a different insight to what's going on.